All right, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom out there. First and foremost, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakudash. Double honor, as always, goes to the apostles of Great Millstone, DMS, who rule and teach Yahshua Allah well through the Spirit. Peace, blessing, citation, and mercy to the Bayaf Shah Dawada, which is the house of David. To you three sisters, to you I say Shalom, Wa Adawan Rakazah, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And yeah, man, we're at that time, man. Okay, prophecy is speaking loud and clear okay as you can see from this headline on your screen from firstpost.com okay which you know i can put the uh, the link to this article in the comment section all right so um the headline reads telepathic apes china develops brain ehip that lets monkeys control robots in major breakthrough okay so this is a major major prophecy okay that must take place before world war three happens before the return of hamashiach yahweh shai okay and this is going to try the whole world and we can see the stages of it all right being done on animals okay because ultimately they want to put these in people and people have been getting them all right look at sweden okay i think the first person to get it in the uk was in 1998 all right but nonetheless man these this RFID micro C hip, which is the Quran in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Okay, that's the mark of the beast, and that, alright, is what the elites want everybody to be uh, electronic, electronically tagged with. Okay, so this was yesterday, May 10th, 2023. Alright, and it says, in a major breakthrough for BCIs and brain implants, scientists in China have developed a new implant that lets monkeys control a robotic arm using their minds. This is a feature that Elon Musk, Neuralink and other BCI makers have been working on for years. Now, it's quite a, a lengthy article, so I'll just pick out, you know, certain key points. Be right back, yeah. All right. <coughs> Still happy for that. All right. Um, you know, and Elon Musk uh, wanted brain, uh, you, you know, wanted these brain trials from... Uh, January this year up until is it June you know six months okay you know these are the miracles that on the left hand side that Esau Edom okay wants to do because he has a God complex all right and uh, you know he wants to be like the Most High ultimately so it says researchers at Nankai University in China made an announcement regarding their development of a BCI or brain computer interface and you can see that this you know, this technology is far spread to the point that, you know, the so-called Chinese, right, which are the Moabites, the biblical Moabites, right, are uh, taking part in this, right, so their, their wine has gone throughout, throughout the world, okay, so it says they claim that this implant enables a monkey to control a robotic arm solely using its mind, the researchers view this achievement as a significant breakthrough that has the potential to enhance the lives of individuals with disabilities, that's right, because you know, your average person who might not know anything about this or very little, all right? You know, if, they, if they're disabled, handicapped, all right, to them it's going to be appealing. They want to take part in this, okay, because they're going to hear of, you know, the benefits of it, all right? But really, you know, this is going to cause grievous sores. If anyone who, you know, takes this all right, device, eventually they're going to get cancerous grievous sores, all right, and pus etc okay and ultimately destroyed okay that's why we want in our people you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans as well as the israelite foreigners speckled birds who are the true biblical hebrew israelites okay you must return and seek your power yahweh bahasham yahweh shai okay because once this is taken once an israelite takes this we can't repent from it okay so it says that the brain computer interface converts electro that's a new word all right signals because i can't re pronounce that that from the monkey's brain into control commands allowing it to operate the robotic arm which is equipped with food it's important to note that the research conducted by the team at nankai university has not undergone peer review and the claims made in announcements have not been independent independently verified okay so good, of course i'm going to push this as a good thing you know it says the experiment builds upon previous work with intervent 
interventional brain computer interface experiments involving animals all right specifically sheep the announcement mentions the utilization of eeg signal recognition and other core technology the university also shares an image depicting a surgical procedure performed on a sedated monkey where the doctors are seen monitoring the procedure on the screen while the monkey lies on the table in the announcement, the researchers explain that the interventional brain computer interface developed by Professor Duan Feng's team involves attaching an interventional EEG sensor to the monkey's brain vessels without the need for invasive craniotomy. Craniotomy. This method allows for the collection of intracranial EEG signals, right? And you know, as it's mentioned in Revelation chapter 13, okay, verse 16 on down. Okay, you know, this, this karagma is going to be implemented either in your right hand or in your forehead. And really, it doesn't matter wherever you take it, because as long as you take it, okay, all right, you're going to be, your fate will be sealed, basically. Okay, so uh, let's get it. Because these devils, their time is short, you see, because they want their new world order, uh, the elites, the nobility of Edom. So, uh, Revelation chapter 13, let's go straight to it, in verse 16, and it reads, He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a teragma in their right hand or in their forehead. Alright, because these devils want to control and monitor, okay, monitor the people, okay. These international, you know, Jewish families, all right, Amalek, all right, starting with the elites, you know, the Rothschilds, the, the Duponts, the Oppenheimers, all right, they control this system, all right, along with the other elite banking families, all right, which there are 13 families altogether, all right. So it says, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he, unless he has that charagma, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay, so you can't, you know, participate in commerce, you can't buy, you can't sell, alright? So you're going to be completely outcasted from, from society if you choose not to partake in this. And really the spirit of Yahweh Hashem is going to be on, has to be on you, not to, not to take it, okay? Alright, so yeah, 13 international, you know, elite banking families all together, man. And 13 being a Masonic number as it is. All right. Uh, let's get Revelation nineteen and twenty. And it reads, "And the beast was taken." All right, and the beast is NATO and EU. All right, and you know America's the whore that rides the beast. All right, and with him the false prophet, right, the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. That wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that received the karagma of the beast and then that worshipped his image. Right, and the image is the is the system, okay, which is a reflection of the pagan Roman Empire. Alright. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, right, and that's Babylon the Great. Alright. And you know, these are the miracles that he's gonna deceive the world with. Okay. Is gonna <clears throat> attempt to make you know people again with disabilities who may be blind see again, who can't walk, walk again, etc. Things like that. Okay. But you know, if you have the spiritual eyes and spiritual ears, right, you won't be deceived by this because the elect won't be deceived. So it says this subheading going back to the article says, How does the new BCI work? The interventional EEG sensor is inserted through the jugular vein, travels to the sagittal sinus and reaches the motor cortex area of the brain. Following the surgical procedure, the, re the researchers were able to successfully collect and recognize EEG signals. This enabled the monkey to actively control the robotic arm. The announcement emphasizes the consideration of security and stability in developing a type of brain-computer interface that is both non-invasive and effective. Okay. Look at this subheading, the race to perfect human. 
Another company, Synchron, initiated human trials of its brain implant in July last year. This implant allows the wearer to control a computer solely through their thoughts. The stentrode brain implant, approximately the size of a paperclip, will be implanted in six patients with severe paralysis in New York and Pittsburgh. Well, you can tell, man, this technology came out of Babylon the Great. All right. So it says the stentrode enables patients to control digital devices and perform daily tasks like texting, emailing, and online shopping using their thoughts. All right. So they're going full steam ahead with this, you know. All right. So we get a uh, one more um, a scripture on this, because you know again prophecy is speaking, man. Right, like it says in Isaiah fifty-five and eleven, the word, all right, the words of the Lord do not go out void, okay, and <clears throat> you know the mouthpiece of Yahweh Shem is the prophets whom the Lord has put the Spirit on and the knowledge to declare, all right. The end from the beginning, the times that we're in, to declare prophecies, right, and to preach <coughs> the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Shai globally, all right, because you know the Heavenly Father and His Son right, cannot lie. So, <coughs> you know these prophecies must come to pass, and we're in that time. So, um, let's get Revelation chapter three, verse ten. And these are the words of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is what? Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Okay. Which shall come upon the, all the world, all right, in an oikumenic sense, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay. You know, and that's going to try our faith. All right. And you know these heathens, they can they can go ahead and take the Karagma, okay. But the elect of the nation of Israel, okay, the Lord is going to preserve them from that said, that said, you know, trial. Okay. Verse eleven: Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right. And what we have is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. All right. Because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay, that's what's going to keep us stable. Lord, we only part of the elect. That's what's going to keep us stable in these times that we're approaching. Okay. So, uh, there you go. Just wanted to. I saw this, so I just wanted to, you know, touch on this. Okay. So, um, again, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. I'm going to end the lesson here. All praises, glory, and honor go to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. With that, Shabbat Shalom to the elect.